content is for adult collectors of the hobby and a general audience 13 years or older. Do defense combos still suck in Beyblade X? Since the launch of Beyblade X, we've had multiple defensive bits released now, none of which have been all that fantastic. This month, with the new Desert Sphinxer release, we've had Gear Needle added to the pool of those different bits. It features the same gimmick as the other gear bits with the teeth that run all the way down to the bottom of the bit. But is it any good for defensive combos? Let's find out. Get on Beybladers, Blade Bay X here. And today we are testing the ultimate defense combo. So we have new parts from this month's release from uh, Desert Sphinxer. We have the gear point bit and we also have the 980 Ratchet. I did a testing video on this last where we put it through 100 battles against five different combos to test its burst resistance and if it's the best Ratchet for Beyblade X. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. It's a fantastic Ratchet. I think you'll enjoy the video. But today we have got it on Night Shield with a 3D printed uh, gear point because I have not been able to get my hands on one of the boosters yet and even if I did, it's a one in three chance, or oh, sorry, it's only a one in three chance I'm going to pull this part. So this one was designed by Junagatsu, go check out his page on Tinkercad, he's got some fantastic um, designs on there which are free to download and print for your own private use. So up against Night Shield, I have all of the stock combo attack bays, Dran Sword, uh, Shark Edge, Dran Dagger, Cobalt Drake, Phoenix Feather, Phoenix Wing, as well as a Shark Edge on 360 with a 3D printed version of the Excel bit. I want to try out this defense combo and see if Gear Point is our first really, really good defensive bit for Beyblade X. Let's check it out. For today's testing, I'm going to be using the launcher links from Noozle 3D. Go check out their website. Use code BladeBayX when you make a purchase for 10% off. First up, let's get some rounds against Drown Sword. Three, two, one, go shoot. Well, that's a strong start for this combination. Bear in mind, this Ratchet is a veteran of well over 100 battles at this point. Three, two, one, go shoot. <laughs> wow, go shoot. Wow. This really isn't great. Go shoot. Wow. It is absolutely flying out of the ratchet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the combo a little bit. See if we can get something with a bit tighter resistance. See if we can stop bursting so easily. This may not be the best choice to make because it is on a lower burst resistance ratchet but I'm hoping that the lower height of 560 will stop us from getting burst so much. Let's see if it does any work. Go shoot. Okay, we didn't burst that time. Go shoot. So maybe the lower height is helping us defend our ratchet a little bit. Go shoot. Let's do one more against Drown Sword. Go shoot. Oh dear. Really, we want a little bit more sticking power from a defensive bit. Let's move on to our second attack combo. Shark Edge. Go shoot. Wow. 
We are back to bursting. I don't want to blame the 3D print because it's just uh, the burst resistance is just as good as I think any other uh, bit would be, but it's not having a good time. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Really, we want to be seeing it have more stamina than Shark Edge on low flat. Go shoot. Go shoot. Yeah, it's a bit better. Go shoot. Oh dear. It's so one thing I will say about um, a gear needle is that because the teeth on the gears go down so low, just like gear ball, it's forced to be very upright. And on this uh, point here, it's making it stay right in the middle of the stadium. So you're gonna be right in the firing line for any bays extreme dash so so far i'm not having a good feeling about this bit let's move on to the next bay next one we got lined up is a cobalt drake let's go three two one go shoot three two one go shoot Can't be losing stamina battles to a stock cobalt drake. Go shoot. <laughs> no, that technically counts as night shields win. Go shoot. Go shoot. Go shoot. So we can't stop Cobalt Drake from bursting us. I'm gonna have a quick play around with the combo and we'll see if we can take on the next, uh, next attack type. So now we've got Night Shield on 580. Let's see if that can grip onto our bit a little bit better and our next attack type is Drawn Dagger. Go shoot. Go shoot. Go shoot. I don't want to jinx it, but so far no bursts with 580. Go shoot. Okay, okay, grab the win. Go shoot. Ah, that's a shame. We got over finished, but we also got burst. So 580 is no longer burst free. All right, let's switch up to our next attack type combo. Next up we have Phoenix Feather. 
go shoot. Burst straight out the gate. Now I do think Phoenix Feathers Blade is fantastic for bursting other bays, so that's the biggest worry coming up against this anyway. Go shoot. Night Shield doing a much better job of protecting its ratchet that time. Go shoot. So, Night Shield almost seemed to have like half burst itself by running along the extreme line. I don't know if that's just because this is a 3D printed proxy or if the actual gear needle will perform similar but that's not ideal. Um, also, it's not doing the best job of uh, protecting its ratchet from being hit. Like you see the other needle tips kind of have that wobble uh, launch their mechanic. Now this does that, but because the teeth go so low down, it's a lot of extra scraping and friction. I think that's killing the stamina and causing these extra bursts. It's like dragging itself out of the ratchet. So. Let's move on to the next big daddy because I don't think we're having a good time against Feather here. Let's go for the upgrade to Phoenix Wing. I'm gonna to switch to a 960 uh, ratchet for this one just because I think it's gonna have a really, really hard time taking those hits on the ratchet um, with that extra height. Phoenix Wing against Night Shield, 960 gear needle, go shoot. Ooh. You can feel the OP weight difference of Phoenix Wing already. Go shoot. I think already that lower height is really helping us not get burst right now though. Sort of feel like with the uh, the new gear um, bits, so gear flat, gear needle, and gear point. Typically, uh, flat launching is going to be your best bet with them. Um, gear flat, you can tilt launch a bit easier, but the other two, I think, really really lose stamina super super fast, and the payoff isn't that high for tilt launching them. Go shoot. <laughs> Oh, it snatches a win. Go shoot. Over finish. Go shoot. Let's do one more against Phoenix Wing. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, oh, there we go. Night Shield 960 gear needle. You saw it here first, bursting Phoenix Wings. So there is one more combo I wanted to try and that is Shark Edge on 360 XL. I wanted to try Shark Edge on XL because I think this is the most similar to Dran Bust we have so far. It's such an offense heavy blade design. I think it's got a lot of the same kind of characteristics as Dran Buster except this is two wings instead of that one heavy point. But let's give it a go on XL. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh. Um, I do believe 
it is burst priority, so Knight Shield would take that win. Go shoot! Now I do actually think XL is set up to have pretty decent life after death because of how wide the teeth come out and you still got that little bit of space on the flat style uh, tip of the bit here. So yeah, I think this might be a very, very reliable um, attack type bit when we get the proper release next month. Go shoot. Go shoot. Ouch. Okay, let's get one more battle against Shark Edge. Three, two, one, go shoot. Unfortunately, Night Shield falls on the final round. So in summary, I don't rate this bit too highly again this is a proxy designed by junagatsu so it is not a complete representation of the actual takarotomi bit but just from this testing alone ignoring the burst resistance just the fact that for a defensive bit to have to stick in the stadium this needs to be completely upright whereas that will never happen with your defensive combos it's going to be tilting side to side constantly and with the needle design it kind of forces that kind of wobble as well so it's really working against itself i think having the teeth so low down on the bit i do want to get my hands on the real bit when i can finally get my hands on some desert sphinx of boosters but i'm gonna to have to wait to test that out for now though gear needle gets a thumbs down from me for a defensive bit I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do all the good YouTube stuff, liking and subscribing. I have a lot of other Beyblade X testing videos and playlists. Please feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.